Hi, welcome to Big Hat Homestead. Today I will show you what an overripe cucumber looks like and what you can do with it. Both of these are overripe, but the one on the right is the one you want to save your seeds from. This is what overripe cucumbers look like. When they're overripe, they start to turn yellow. So this one probably should have been picked this looks like it's about five inches, so probably at around four for this type of cucumber. An overripe cucumber can take on a bitter taste, but you can go ahead and try it, and if you like it, go ahead and eat it. But I'm gonna cut into these, and we're gonna see the difference between the two. They're both overripe. The seeds are more mature in the riper one. What I noticed right away is the one on the right, the flesh is separating away from the seeds, more so than the one on the left. This is the one I'm gonna take the seeds from. I'm gonna compare these two cucumbers side by side so you can see a close up. The one on the left is drier and the flesh is tight, whereas the one on the right is more moist and the seeds are separating from the flesh. I'm going to scrape the flesh out and then I'm going to place it in a cup and fill it with water. I will let the cup sit for three days and I need to stir it once per day. At the end of the third day, any seeds that are on the bottom are the good seeds. All pulp and seeds on the top are bad and I will pour those off. I dumped this batch to show you how many seeds are just in one half of this cucumber. It's probably about 50 and each seed can produce approximately 10 fruits. So keep that in mind when you're planting your cucumber. The next step is to scoop out those seeds and then we're gonna fill the jar with water and we're gonna let that sit for three days. Okay, this is day one. Okay, this is day two. Okay, here's the last day. This is what it looks like up top before I stir it. Once I stir this, any of the seeds on the bottom are good and the ones on the top are bad. Look at this fermentation. It kills viruses and separates the good seed from the bad. Now it's time to pour off the pulp and the bad seeds. The remaining seeds I will strain, rinse, and place on a paper towel to dry. Okay, here are the seeds. They're dried and ready to go in a container. I just use an old container. Now drop a cotton wedge in there and an oxygen absorber. You can use an airtight container or an envelope and don't forget to label it. Here are the seeds ready to go for the next planting. Thank you for watching. Bye.